welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to continue with our equipment system. We are going to equip our blouse, our shoes and our pants. So let's begin. Let's work on the rest of the items. So I'm going to remove all the meshes from my skeletal parts. So from the pants and from the boots and from the armor like so. I'm going to compile and save. So now we have our base female character and I'm going to go to the equip item and now we need a more variables for every single one of our slots so for this equipped helmet uh, I'm just going to duplicate this variable with Control W and I'm going to call this equipped uh, armor one more it's going to be equipped pants and one more it's going to be equipped boots so now on our switch we are going to set these so equipped armor for this switch equipped pants for this switch and equipped boots for the last one like so there we go and I'm gonna do a reroute node reroute pin right here and I will connect all of these as well. There we go. I'm going to adjust the positioning later on. Now I want to copy these, well, actually, only these two nodes, like so. Connect this right here and this right here. I'm going to put this closer, collapse this. I should collapse this as well and move this up here like so and for the target here since we have armor then we are going to drag in our armor skeletal like so there we go actually I will move this out a bit like so nice and neat great there we go and I will copy these two again right here and once more, since we have four equipables, I'm going to connect these pins again like so. And I'm going to connect the boots as well. Like so. There we go. And for the targets, so we have pants, so pants skeletal. And boots skeletal there we go awesome so we can compile and save this now let's go back to our item info so here we have this and over here what we can do this is actually pretty pretty simple since we have a switch already in our equip item then all we have to do here is just connect the these rest of the pins to our cast to third person character which is going to equip an item and yeah that's pretty much it in here so we can compile and save and now in our UI inventory what we, what we can do now is we can get our other equipped items so equipped armor and then we need to get equipped pants and get equipped boots there we go now I'm going to copy again these two nodes, set brush from texture and the S inventory break result and I'm going to copy these over here. I'm going to do this like so, like steps. So we have three items and the fourth item. So that's going to look like this. And I'm just going to connect these like so and actually I could do a reroute pen because this is getting sort of messy and I will just connect this like so so we only have one coming down and the other ones are just splitting over here like so there we go and actually I still don't like the way it looks for the pins so I might as well just do like so So 
so yes this looks way 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 better so there we go and now for the armor we need this armor icon for the set brush from texture and these two as well whoa 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 there we go pants and the boots and for now these rest of these two I'm just gonna leave here and I'm gonna deal with them probably in the next video so now I can compile and save this and this should be good and I believe we have done everything we needed to do everything looks to be set up nice and properly so let's just jump into it and test this out so let's pick up our items there we go let's test out some different ones so let's take a hat let's take the regular jeans let's take the black shoe and yeah we all only have the blouse and yeah this looks pretty great my animation is funky but the equipment itself it looks pretty great if you have some misaligned things then what you should do is go to your third person character and just move the skeletals around like if we go to the viewport place a preview maybe if it helps but I don't think it really will so you just need to play with these values a bit until your meshes are in the spot but if you're using my meshes then these values should be exactly just like mine is so now we need to unequip our items so here in the equipment tab I'm just going to add a button next to our helmet icon and I'm gonna move the helmet icon on top of the button and I'm gonna make sure that the button is set to align to center like so basically the button will take the icon size and it will be just a tad bit bigger than the icon itself and you can adjust the color values yourself I'm gonna leave it to the default and also I'm gonna rename this to helmet button like so and I will do more buttons right here like so like this and like this so fill middle middle weapon one icon uh, weapon one button not icon the armor button fill center center and the weapon two icon button not icon what am I talking about this is a button not an icon so we need two more buttons one over here one over here icons on top of the buttons and this is the pants button aligned to the middle and the boots button also aligned to the middle there we go so now we can go to our graph and now we need to create events for our buttons so first helmet on clicked then I'm gonna do a armor on clicked pants on clicked and boots on clicked events like so and from this we need to do a cast to third person character get owning player pawn get owning player pawn and we need a function that will unequip our item so I'm gonna go back to my third person character I'm gonna create a new function which is going to be unequip item and we will have a eh, let's have a type 
which is going to have a string type variable and we are going to do a switch on string which is going to have four pins right now so helmet armor pants boots there we go and now what we need is our skeletals I'm just gonna drag these in like so they're not in the right order but well it is what it is and I'm just going to set skeletal mesh and just gonna set this to empty so for the helmet and we need a couple of more for all of our pins like so so this is going to be armor actually I could move it like so, so armor pants boots there we go connect the pin armor pants boots there we go and one more thing that we will do is here in the helmet we are going to do a pickup item pick up item message no oh so we have add item so we need add item add item there we go and we are going to add our equipped helmet to our inventory and now from the add item we're going to set our equipped helmet like so and we're just going to set this to our empty item like so and I'm gonna copy this node to all of these locations as well like so there we go there we go there we go great and I'm just gonna do the same thing so equipped armor right here equipped pants right here and the equipped boots like so and now we need to set these so set armor set pants and set boots and now I will use this same empty item node for all of these items now this should do it and also one more thing that we should do is we should clear the HUD and we should create inventory UI after every time we remove the item so that we would get a new visuals and we would see this real time that we are removing the item itself so now we need to go back to our item info um, UI inventory I mean and here on the clicked so we need to do as third person character we need to unequip item and in this case the type is helmet and I'm just gonna copy these nodes like so there we go and this is a armor whoopsie daisy whoopsie whoopsie whoops there we go back to normal and pants and boots so I think that should do it so that's going to be it for this video it's gone a little long so I'm gonna cut it here uh, we still have a couple of issues like we can equip multiple items and the first equipped item disappears but we are going to fix all of our issues in the next videos so stay tuned and wait for the next tutorial see ya